so many of us, we've gone through life and life has let us down. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I know what it's like to barely hold on, to barely feel like you're breathing, and barely feel like you can come up for air. Look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice. No. Do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. Growth is faster and deeper during your darkest days. Through that separation, through that unemployment, through that tragedy, through that loss. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You take those terrible events in your life and you create a new story of triumph. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Fight your way through this battle. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. Fight your way through it. Fight your way through this battle. Fight your way through that academic struggle. Fight your way through divorce. Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You've gotten this far. If you was going to quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. I know you may be hurting, but just know, after this battle, you will come out on the better side. You have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to know that this life was made for many battles. And you were made just for a time like this. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment, you decided that you're going to not concern yourself with the naysayers, that you're not going to concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened, but you're going to make the commitment to do what you've got to do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you and you decide to play it safe. And 20 years from now, you say to yourself, what if? I would have taken a chance on myself. What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something. Something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. If you are an underdog, you got to believe against all odds. You got to learn to close your ears to everybody. You got to learn to close your ears to everything. You got to learn to block out the distractions and you got to learn to get focused, all right? Be very intentional, very deliberate, very strategic. You are very deliberate about what time you wake up. You're very deliberate about what time you go to bed. You're very deliberate about what you eat, what you don't do. You're very deliberate about the people you bring in your life. You are very, very focused, intentional, and deliberate. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. See, we got to look our trauma in the face. 
We gotta embrace the pain and the darkness and allow it to mold us. The dark times are when we build higher, dream harder, push further, love deeper. It's forming your future. It's pushing you forward. When you go through a storm, it strengthens you. When you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things when you go through those things and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad, tragic time. No. See, I'm going through a character building experience. That setback is going to become a comeback. Go through the darkness, come out on the other side something new, and allow that person to change the world. I know what you're going through. Countless hours sitting up, thinking if your life will ever get better. Thinking about everybody that's passed away, just walked out your life. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you're going to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? No one really likes you, no one really cares about you. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine and they'll never know that. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You see, I will try 100 times to get up and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I want to challenge you tonight to get up. Some of you getting up means, all right, here I am. I got some challenges. I'm tired of being quiet about it. Others of you getting up means I'm fighting back. I'm going to a doctor. Getting up means I'm going back to counseling. Getting up says, all right, I'm going to start the medication again. Getting up is, you know what? Maybe I can get a job. Maybe my mission has not been destroyed by my depression. I'm getting up. You got to get up to find your purpose. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you saw. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Your mind and attitude is all you need to be successful. That's all you need. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need money. You don't even need folk that like you. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, we can make it happen. I don't care what's going on around you because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you. And you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude and you can control your mindset. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. Whenever you start, you make sure you finish. If you do not kill me, you will not stop my drive. No petty adversity will not stop me. I have to complete every mission that I set out on. From this day forward, set out to achieve greatness, not by looking for someone to give it to you, but by going through all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the hard work, by going to work to set your own inner greatness free. No matter what anyone else has said, or how anyone else has made you feel before, it's there. So you had it harder than other people, well then you're going to have to work a little harder. But trust me when I say, you have greatness inside you. Wherever we are, with whatever hand that life has dealt us, we have the freedom of spirit. 
We can go through life whining and weeping, or we can have the kind of spirit that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself. You have an uncomfortable soul. It can be painful. It will be uncomfortable. And that's where the growth is. When you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're going to get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you, you'll begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got when you put yourself in that type of challenging situation. The journey is not easy. Everyone's hot off the start. But after a month or so into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs, and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure's there for some time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again, and does it again, until it goes his way. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up, because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. At the end of pain is success. If you can stay in the race, if you can stay in the fight, then you can dictate your own future. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to stay that way. The one thing I know about emotions is that they change. One hour from right now, you will not feel the same way. And I want to encourage you tonight that you might be in your darkest moment. You might be going through hell and high water. But I know this, it is always too soon to quit. You have a reason to live. Your best days are in front of you. Get up. Your future is brighter than your past. Get up. Your latter is greater than your former. Get up. Because the best is still yet to come. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for, you don't need no money for, you don't need no support for. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can't beat it. I can't beat it. I will beat it. I must. You think it's gonna be easy? Forget about it. All right, don't even try to be successful. It's a wrap. It's not going to be easy, but I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. I'm unbreakable now. Take your pain, use your pain to push you past whatever you can dream of. Take the fact that your father wasn't in your life. Take the fact that it took me 12 years to get a four year Take the fact that you started with nothing. You use your pain. You take your pain and let your pain push you to another level. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. I didn't quit. I didn't stop. I didn't whine. You know what I did? I got my reward for it. I don't take L's no more. No more L's in my life. All we do is win, win, win. It is literally at the darkest moment when it dawns. You don't really even get to the next level to your darkest moments. No matter what you've ever been through, you had to go through it to get right here. There's glory on the other side of pain. No pain lasts always. And when you make up your mind to deal with pain because you know what it feels like, man, ain't a devil in hell can stop what you're trying to do. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. 
It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it.